Alrighty guys, welcome back here to another episode here of the Top 5 Seed Series. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're actually doing a bit of a special episode. We're joined by A Kirby 80. Now, he's given me two seeds for this video, and I gave him two seeds for his video. So go ahead, click the link in the description, check out his video, and say Minion sent you. I actually want to see if that works. Go ahead and do that. Now, we are here in the 1.19.1 java edition of the game now the gen the generation will work in bedrock i've actually been testing that and it'll work in bedrock but the, the structures are different you know they're a little different but anyway guys that's it 1.19.1 java five seeds really epic seeds in this video so stick around maybe grab some popcorn eat it really fast because it's like a 10 minute video but hey, let's go <laughs> Alrighty guys, coming in at seed number one, we have quite an interesting seed here. You're actually gonna spawn directly on top of a woodland mansion, and I wanna prove this to you. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do that, look it. You spawn on top of the woodland mansion, which is weird and insane, and it, this seed's really cool. So, either way, either way, I digress. Moving on, as you can see, your roofed forest here is actually quite small, so you don't have to worry about being inside of a roof forest if you wanted to live near this mansion. You have a birch forest, you have a jungle, you have a swamp, and even imp more importantly, important, importantly, you have, <laughs> you have a new mangrove swamp, which is awesome right off the bat. So you have the 1.19 mangrove swamp. You have so many biomes to choose from if you didn't want to live within this. It, it has, I'm pretty sure, almost every biome kind of pretty close by. And then if we follow the outline of this mangrove swamp, you're actually, it does, I think it has every wood right close by. Jungle, roof, yeah, I think it does. That's kind of cool. If we follow the outline of this, you're going to find your pillager outpost. Now, the Pillager Outpost, it does have some allies in it, so you can go ahead, you could grab some allies, and I did kind of forget to touch on the fact that the outpost, or the, the mansion over here, it also has some allies in it. So if you wanted to get some allies, literally, like, just dig straight down in your feet almost, and you will get quite a few allies if you were if you're looking for them I, I don't know i don't know i love this seed this is actually really interesting you get every wood type off spawn i believe every single one acacia jungle uh oh wait oh uh, maybe i don't know what other wood types am i missing am i wrong someone correct me if i'm wrong Hey guys, for those that don't know, my name is Kirby. On my channel, I often show some crazy structure seeds, and that's what we have here with a village, ruined portal, and woodland mansion all at the spawn area. The village is a plains variant village that generates on top of a meadow biome. It's for sure not the biggest village, but aspects like the path generating over here and down here are pretty cool. And as you can see, we also get this dripstone cave here. I'm a big fan of caves in Minecraft, and this one doesn't disappoint. Now we can take a look at the ruined portal. It's pretty cool generating on the side of the meadow like this. I actually found a golden apple inside of the chest. The entrance to the mansion is on the eastern side of the structure. On the bottom floor, I found this maze room with some loot at the end. On the middle floor, I found two arena rooms, both with loot. Plus, you can see how it cuts into the hilly terrain by looking out the windows here. And on the top floor, there are seven total rooms. That includes this room here, which if you break through the ceiling, you get one chest here, and then another chest here. I really like this seat a lot. Now, coming in at seed number three, this seed's actually kind of interesting. You're gonna spawn directly next to a pillager outpost, and you can wander over and unlock two sets. So two sets of the new allies right away. You walk over, I, mm, mm, you might die, but you can at least try to get them. At least they're there. And then if you want to have more of a fighting chance, you can just, you know, walk the edge of this little, uh, cliff here and grab yourself this interesting village now this one might be a little more difficult to loot you know you have to parkour you're gonna have to go up it's you might you might 
you might have some challenge with it, you know? It might be a little different. Now, what I want you guys to do is travel over this really flat and strange looking mountain. When you're on the other side of it, you're actually gonna find village number two. So you have this second village. Both villages are actually pretty good for loot. You're gonna get food, you're gonna get chests. It, it, no blacksmith in either, but it, it looks good. You're gonna have an interesting cave system right down to the deep dark. Unfortunately, not an ancient city, but you do have this massive, massive massive cave system i thought it was really interesting and you can spawn wait can you spawn the warden outside of an ancient city i don't think so is that not what those are though hmm hmm very sus but you get this massive cave system down here with like look at it you have this beautiful I, I love it i love it you have this beautiful uh what what are these things called mine shafts so let's let i let's go on the surface let's go on the surface so where where are we where'd we go here's your village you have the beautiful cave system right off the bat and then you have this beautiful mountain now it's surrounded by a jungle has some birch trees on it it looks great. Now what I want you guys to do is go back to your spawn point. If you go back to your spawn point and you travel just a little bit past your village here, you're actually going to be able to find, I believe, am I right? I might be wrong. I think it might be wrong. Nope, 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 no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, right here, right here. Go past your, your village, go to the end of the river and dig straight down. This is where you're going to find the ancient city that we wanted over in the other cave. Would have been really cool to have it there. So there's your ancient city. Go ahead. Try not to die. Alright, so my second seed for you guys, I think, fits into that crazy category I mentioned. This is actually an island seed, and the island has multiple biomes. We've got the mangrove swamp, the windswept savanna, and the desert. Within the ocean, we also get coral reef sections too. One of the things I like about this is the different colors of water. Plus, the windswept terrain causes some funky looking generation. We've also got that desert village here. I love when villages generate on top of water like this. And I like when villages stretch into other biomes. Further out in the ocean, there is another desert island village. It's right next to a coral reef and it looks really cool. And look over here. Yeah, another island village. And of course, another desert village fits right in with the other villages. So there you have my second seed. I hope you like the seeds I decided to share with you today. And I invite you over to my channel to see my video featuring Justin. Coming in at seed number five, ladies and gentlemen, you spawn directly next to death, but unfortunately there's no allies. So you really have no reason to hang around here unless you want to get the easy wood that's in the top. But I don't know if that'd be considered easy, but the first thing you're going to want to do right away, right away, right away. Where am I right now? Travel. <laughs> I got lost. Travel to your right where you're going to find village number one. And I absolutely love this seed because this village has a dock going into this little river right so you have this village it's sort of built up it has the huts up the side of the mountain with the gardens you have this dock that leads in and then you have a shipwreck so this seed almost tells a story of this ship trying to come into port here to find these uh, villagers to come in and try to help them from the outpost but it ends up getting shipwreck on the shore. It, it just, it tells a story and I love it when seed generation can do that. Now, if we just travel over here, you're gonna find the other port that I like to call this because this is really cool. You have another, it doesn't have a dock, but look, it's right on the edge of the sea again and it has this beautiful, beautiful cliffside and it does have a blacksmith so you're gonna be able to get some loot everything's looking great let's take a look at this cliff real quick it looks great it's nothing it's not the best cliff I've ever seen but I love cliff sides in this game god they're cool so what I want you guys to do now is head back to your spawn point or at least the village uh, that's here you, you can try to avoid this now just just travel straight in this direction follow the acacia a little bit and you're actually gonna find yourself a third village Ray, it's a little distance it's actually quite a distance away where did it go did I get lost I think I got lost <laughs> don't follow my instructions okay it, it, it's only two minutes don't follow follow yeah follow this there you go 
<laughs> Follow the left, not the right. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll find the village. There you go. You have your third village. You can get some loot. And again, it's kind of like a port. So it's like this weird island area has villagers kind of protecting it. I think that's super cool. I think it really actually does tell a story, especially with the villager outpost. So yeah. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of the Top 5 Seed Series. Big shout out to Kirby for actually teaming up with me on this video. I love it when we are able to come together and do these collabs. It's always so much fun. I love I love the collab scene in, in the Seed Space. It's really cool. But if you guys are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to win a bet with my girlfriend to get 15,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I won't win 20 bucks. It's a whole complicated thing. Go watch other videos to get the whole story on that. But if you guys want to check out Kirby's video with my seeds in it, go ahead and click the link in the description where, you, where you'll be able to go. It's right above the seeds in this one. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.